Hola Pisces! Welcome to your love reading for March 2019. Man, these are some big cards. Um, <laughs> see what I mean? Now I know I'm training, I'm actually training my daughter on how to flip. She's 11 and she's like, Mom, these cards are so like big. And I'm like, girl, now I know what she feels like. Okay, so anyways, I pre-shuffled, so it doesn't really matter. Um, <laughs> If this resonates, consider a personal reading. My rates, my info, and my email are below. Just send me an email and we can go ahead and make that happen. Um, other things to mention, my 2019 and my 2018 Sun Moon readings are in my playlist. Okay, so my 2019 Sun Moon readings are almost done. Go look up your Sun Moon sign and go check out your predictions for 2019. Um, I'll be working on compatibility readings throughout the year. I'm on an instant go. If you need a quick answer to a quick question at a re reasonable price, also, I'm on Facebook and Insta where I upload my weeklies and be sure to check out the Vimeo link below, which I always do for love readings for what your love interest is thinking or feeling, whether it's a crush, whether it's a current or whether it's an ex. OK, sometimes I do. How can I move on? I wasn't not seeing a lot of popularity in those. I'm short on time, so I'm just going to do crush, current or ex and what they're thinking for this month. OK, or I might alternate every other month. All righty. So let's see what's going on. My Pisceans. For March 2019. Holy Spirit Angels. And I picked these because of St. Patty's. They're like, can you please write your truth, your wisdom, your clarity for Pisces? Pisces. 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 Love energies for March 2019. Pisces. Love energies for March. Okay. First card they're pulling out is make sure this is one card they're so thick too i like them but they're the messenger of fire okay this is um energies that you passed out of prior to march can you please show me love energies they can expect pisces can expect for march 2019 okay we have the seven of air in reversed and then can you please show me how they'll be moving out of March into April? Pisces, please, love. How will they move out of March into April? All right. So I'm definitely seeing a kind of story here for you guys. And I will pull clarifiers. So I'm feeling the energies that you guys came out of. We have a messenger of fire in reverse. So um, someone's not talking to you. Or if you aren't talking to them, and I'm not saying that like that in a crappy way, but I, I get the energy. I always get the energy with the with this card in particular. And I mean, I'm looking at this deck and this lady, um, her arms are crossed like in defiance. Um, so you have somebody that you were talking to and then all of a sudden you're not talking to them anymore. And they're not talking to you because they want to be crappy. <laughs> They're being really stubborn. Maybe they want to get their way. Either they're not talking to you or they're not listening to you. Whatever whatever the communication is that they're kind of like holding off from, they're doing it to piss you off. They're doing it to hurt you. They're doing it to get a reaction out of you, okay? Or they did it to get a reaction out of you. It depends on when you see this video. And that's what I'm strongly getting. Um, and, and I'm not saying that necessarily you did anything, but they're just kind of like, no, I'm not going to talk to them. No. I'm not gonna listen to what they have to say. And and they're they're trying to get a reaction out of you or they're just being pissy and they're they're allowing those negative energies to like be displaced onto you. Okay, which really isn't that fair. And you're probably absorbing those negative energies because you guys, you know, are highly sensitive and highly intuitive. Um, so that's a crappy thing for them to do in general. Now, here we go as you move into March. Okay, so this is March energies. We have the seven of air in reverse. What I'm getting from this is however crappy they were being prior to March, they're going to get their karma come April. Because in this situation, I see that this person we expose for who they are, which is a jerk or just that they're acting the way they are. Um, they're they're going to be exposed for it. They're going to, you know, get caught for be, excuse me, for being like this and or they'll show their true colors. And as a result, it's, it's going to feel glorious for you because the seven of air for me in reverse can be somebody having their like aha moment. I knew it. I knew I was right. I mean, back here, you might have been feeling like you were a little bit crazy. You knew it was undeserved. 
um, not feeling crazy, but you knew how they were treating you was undeserved, but other people around you weren't seeing that for some reason. I feel like it was just you kind of picking up on this and probably because you're intuitive. So you're picking up, you knew what their intentions were. They're doing it to hurt you. They're doing it to make you feel badly. And I feel like going into March, other people are going to see it too. And you're going to have your aha moment. Like the, for this card, it's like, I knew it. See, I told you so. I told you so. This is like, a, I told you so card. So you're going to be able to, you know, be free mentally, um, knowing that this person's being exposed or people are seeing them for who they are. Then you move on to the moon card in reversed as you move out from March to April. And this is great too, because the moon card, like I said, this continues to be the case where light is shown upon this. This person is seen for all their warts, all their, everything they have to them. And there's a huge clarity that you have that is coming along with this. Um, you're starting to realize what a neg negative influence this person was in your life. And as you move into April, you're saying to yourself, thank God that they're kind of moving out of my life because they were really bad for me. And, and also this is your card. This is the card of Pisces. So you're realizing, you know, they were terrible for me. I didn't see it when I was in the moment. I accepted a lot of things that I shouldn't have accepted. Um, I kind of took the brunt of things when I shouldn't have, but I feel like with this moon card in reverse, you're getting this release and this clarity that is well deserved um, as you move forward to April and, you know, realizing, you know, why this didn't work out, but that it's pure, purely beneficial to you and that you're going to be phasing into a much better um, life, if not just love life moving forward with a lot of clarity too. The, the moon card is about a light bulb moment being like, oh, okay, I, you know, I kind of get why this happened. and all these negative emotions that this person caused me, you know, it, it was it was a whole bunch of crap that I just didn't need to have in my life, I feel like, for you guys. So can you please provide clarification on the messenger of fire? Why is the messenger of fire here in reverse for Pisces? Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages for the messenger of fire for Pisces. Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages. Messenger of fire for Pisces. Perspective, why the messenger of fire reverse energies that they yeah for some of you this person left you <laughs> they picked up their stuff they moved out they didn't offer you any explanation whatsoever they relocated they moved into their own place and they took all their stuff with them and you were just kind of like wait like what just happened are you going to tell me what happened are you going to explain anything is there any communication that you know you're going to bother kind of um letting me know about um <laughs> High Priestess here, it could have been for another woman. There could have been another woman involved here. Um, so this could have, been, could have been a secret that they had or what have you. So some, some people might have left and you might have never gotten your answer, but they might have actually left for another woman. Um, High Priestess though is very intuitive, okay? Intuition. And I feel like there is something that did not sit well in your gut about this. I feel like with the High Priestess, you were using your intuition to guide you. You kind of knew that this person was being a jerk. You knew they weren't coming back. You knew something was kind of fishy. You couldn't quite put your finger on it. You know, that feeling of not being able to put your finger on it. Um, so they're out of the picture. And then the full card indicates the new journey. Alrighty. Um, this is either their journey or your journey. I'm trying to determine... It could be a new journey for both of you. Them kind of moving on, having a new journey with somebody else. It's just not, not, I mean, not caring. I feel like it's more for them. They kind of like went, they left, they took a risk. They're exploring a new love. And, and they just, they stepped out of your life. And they didn't tell you anything about it. But it will end up being a new journey for you, as we will see here. But just because the placement of it, I think it's more them. They're starting with someone and they're like, I don't care. I'm going to do what I want. I'm not fearful of anything. Go ahead. You know, um, judge me if you will. This is new love. I'm feeling it and I'm going to do what I want to do. Okay. Full card has an immaturity. I'm not going to lie. Um, he has like a flight of fancy. And I mean, since this is a fire sign, we have a page in reverse, which is immature to begin with. But then on top of it, I'm getting from the fool. This is somebody who is like, feels like a kid and like he can do what he wants. And when he sees something he wants, he goes, okay, well, I'm just going to leave for this new journey. I don't need to explain anything to anybody. I'm not, I don't have any responsibility or ownership for what I'm leaving behind. I just know that I want this and I'm going to go forward and do this. So that's what I'm kind of getting from them. Okay, why is this seven of air here in reverse for Pisces? Who is this person? What is this energy? Wow, I'm getting a, like a lot. I like these cards. I mean, they might be big, but I'm getting a lot of messages from them. 
Okay, why is the seven of air here who is in reverse for Pisces energies in March? Who is this person with this energy? Additional messages, please. Seven of air. Tarot card and upright. So it's not pleasant. The tarot card, everything comes falling down. There's emotions are all over the place. Um, it, it doesn't end pleasantly. Okay. So obviously, because this person just like took off. So tarot card has, has you reeling. One, because it was unexpected. You didn't see this coming. Two, because there was no explanation or no communication offered. And here you are with the Queen of Cups in reverse, like, what just happened? Having tons of emotions because of this. You're feeling vindictive. You're feeling um, jealous. You're feeling, oh, I want them back. I mean, your emotions are, like, all over the board in regards to this, this person kind of doing this. Um, and this seven of, of air can be an affair being exposed. So this person that they left you for... It has to be another woman, obviously. I don't like to get gender specific. It could be clearly be a male with, you know, feminine energies or whatever. If you're same sex, just however it resonates. But this seven of errors is this affair being exposed, okay? You hearing about it when you do. It's like kaboom with the tower. Your emotions are like, oh my God, like tower. You're hearing it. And you're like, oh my God, what just happened? I got totally blindsided like this. This is not what I was expecting. Totally shocked by this, Okay. Um, and, and just the powerlessness of going, well, I can't do anything about it now. I mean, it is what it is. They left, they're hurt. Um, and I'm hurt, but wow, you know, so you're, you're left with all these emotions that you're kind of dealing with and you're, and you don't necessarily know how to deal with them. Um, you know, it goes from anger to tears, to jealousy, to feeling like you need them. And you're really going to be emotional in March if this, this reading resonates with you. We have the three of swords in reverse. You may be getting an apology from this person, okay? I'm not feeling it's an apology, like, I'm so sorry, can I come back? I feel like it's in passing, and because of their energy, that how they are, they're kind of like, hey, I'm sorry it had to happen this way, but it had to happen this way. Like, it's so half-hearted. It's, I mean, you get your apology, but it's not sincere, and it isn't kind of what you need. So as a result of that, I feel like you have a really hard time moving on from this because you're not getting what you need from the other person in order to do this. And whatever, um, you know, apology they throw at you like breadcrumbs, you're just kind of like, okay, well, that's really not helping me out. Um, so with the moon card here, as you go out from March into April, you decide to get your own clarity, your own closure. You can't kind of be, you're sort of seeing how this might have been a blessing in disguise not necessarily how it happened the way that it did but sometimes we need to have like a tumultuous shock like that um to kind of bring us to our senses why is the moon card in reverse who is this person what is this energy additional messages for the moon card in reverse <laughs> okay so we have the eight of wands with the star card star card is the card of aquarius if that resonates and the Queen of Pentacles in reversed. All right, this is this. So remember when I said back here that it isn't like, oh, I'm sorry, can we get back together? I feel like that ends up being that at the end of the month. Um, because so now you have all your crap together. Now you're like, okay, I see things for the, where they are, are. Thank God that person's out of my life. I didn't need that crap. Um, and then guess who comes back knocking? This person with eight of wands hammering you wanting to talk to you, um, you know, it, blowing up your phone, emailing you, trying to call you, trying to talk to you, trying to explain things because this might have not ended up working out so well. So now they're coming knocking on your door and they're being very persistent about it with eight of wands. They're just hammering you and you aren't opening your door. You aren't, if, if you, some of you, I feel like you're, you're not being very responsive to them and this causes them to further to up the ante to try to get communication out of you and the star card indicates to me you guys are in a different place now because you realize the negative influences you don't need this person and that is a blessing in itself so you guys are like okay so i went through crap this person's purpose was for me to realize how strong i am how i can bounce back from things and i am bounced back and everything is great you know um and you're feeling like it's wonderful. So I don't necessarily know you're going to be opening the door when this person comes knocking because you've gotten to a good place with this star card. And now you're ready to say, okay, 
so you have renewed faith you're ready to receive and appreciate somebody who deserves you you know that there's somebody better out there you know that there's i hate to say this because it's so cliche but there's a soulmate your person your shining star is out there and you're ready to meet them and here comes this person like knock 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 oh will you open the door i want to explain and I, I have something to say you know i feel like they up the ante um queen of pentacles to me in reversed is you know this first of all this you know this isn't going to work out okay um queen of pentacles to me says this person it wouldn't be able to give you what you wanted long term because the queen of pentacles is not somebody who sits around at home she's usually out working she's out and about when she's in reverse sorry she neglects people um you aren't priority number one when it comes to the queen of pentacles in reverse what's priority number one for the queen of pentacles is money crap outside of the house um not taking care of your family um things like that and just being greedy so the queen of pentacles you, you you're totally clear because of the moon card in regards to what this person is and what their priorities are so no matter what they say to you you're a stronger person now and you see this person for who they are so i feel like this person's going to be disappointed when they come knocking i'm just saying I feel like they are going to try to have conversations with you to try to get you to, and, but you see everything clear as day now. I mean, it was really crappy what they did to you over here. And I don't feel like they even did it in a nice way. It was like, boom, I met somebody else. I'm out. I'm taking my stuff. I'm going to have a new journey with this person. And you, and then you went through a lot in March and then they come back like, Hey, guess what? After they give you an apology, that's like half-assed. I'm just saying. <laughs> Just reading the cards might not be your message but this is what I'm seeing so if you want to find out what your love interest is thinking whether it's a current a crush or an ex I'll click on the link below it'll take you to that um, and otherwise consider a personal reading if it resonated my rates my info are below send me an email we can go ahead and set that up and I wish you guys whoever this applied to it wish you guys the best adios from Veronica Garnett bye guys